Hi guys! I am finally back to filming videos. I know it's been almost a week um, since I uploaded my last video and I'm so glad I can finally sit here and craft and film again. Um, it's been a busy week work-wise and I also had other stuff to take care of and deal with and I'm just lately I've just been so so extremely tired so but now I can finally um I also have more room now um because I cleaned up my desk as you can tell and now I also have this one of my new craft um crafts mats or cutting mats on my on my desk and I hope the camera setting is going to be okay so you can actually see more without being distracted of all the by all the stuff around me um, yeah, and I also finally moved in the big table into my, the middle of my craft room and I put up the um, the two bookcases that I ordered from Walmart and they're awesome. They fit perfectly underneath it and I still have room for one of my rolly carts and I think I might get another one or one with drawers. I'm not sure yet, but I still have room. And so yeah, I've been, the past two days or so, I've been organizing and moving stuff around so I can finally get all the boxes that have been stacked on my floor because I have like boxes of papers from like different like old stuff and all, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, finally today I can sit down and film. It's Wednesday, so you're gonna see this tomorrow on Thursday. And I am so excited that I can craft with you guys. And I wanna show you what I just made. I made this little envelope pouch thingy pocket. Um, from wallpaper and I thought hey I should I should show you guys how I did it maybe you want to make some and you don't need wallpaper to do it you can also use um, digital prints or nice book pages anything you want I am just using my wallpaper because I have a ton um, I filmed a haul a while ago but I forgot to show you the wallpaper so uh, two and a half weeks ago or a week and a half ago, I can't remember two and a half weeks um I went to Goodwill real quick before an appointment and they didn't have anything that I was interested in and then looked around I always go to the paper aisle first or like the stationary shelf and they didn't have anything that I liked and then I looked down and there was a shelf with rolls of like gift wrap and those shelf liner papers like the sticky ones and wallpaper they had two rolls of this lovely wallpaper i love i think it's gorgeous and each roll is super thick like they have a lot of um wallpaper on them one dollar and uh I, I i've left the other one uh in the the packaging but I started using this one and it's so beautiful um, it's old and I did a little bit of research on the, I googled the name of the um, the brand name and turns out it's actually a an old British wallpaper um, brand and the owner is uh, I don't know if it's still him, but it's Lady Di's um, stepfather, I think. He he inherited the wallpaper um, uh, Imperium. Is it called Imperium? Uh, from his from his father. So I thought that was really neat. And I also found out that these actually go not especially. This, I couldn't find this um, pattern, but some of this wallpaper. Um, or most of them that I saw, they sell a roll goes between sixty and hundred dollars, <laughs> and everybody, <clears throat> everybody was like, "You should sell them." Well, I bought them for crafting, not to make a quick buck. So, um, yeah, I got lots, lots of full papers. So that's why I came up with this little thing. Okay, so what it is? Can take this off. It's just a little pocket or a pouch. So you could put like little tickets or um, ignore this bump here. Um, I was trying something else. <laughs> um, you can put like little ephemera pieces in here or photos or a letter. And then you can just flip this close and then you tie 
Um, oh, it went this way. And then you just tie it shut. And it's super easy to do. So I want to show you how I did it. Okay, so what I used was wallpaper. But like I said, you can use any colorful paper that you like with pattern on it. Um, the base for it, oops, I just dropped paper. I used uh, some similar paper to our cardstock to um, the manila folder. I'm just gonna use this one because it's really thin. And if you use thick wallpaper and then paper on the inside, it can be really thick to sew, especially if you have to sew um, two, two layers of the sandwich. Um, together so I'm just gonna try it with this thinner one and then you're gonna need some something for the inside I'm just gonna use some of those old pages I got from Donna yay for using stuff and um, wallpaper since I already made one with this I decided I'm gonna just use different wallpaper if you don't have wallpaper um, you can actually buy Tim Holtz wallpaper and it's actually a really nice size and I also just recently got another one um, I found this one. This is so beautiful. It comes with wallpapers and flowers. Isn't this beautiful? I found this um, on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. No, Friday. I got a text from my friend. She said, hey, Michael's opening today. I'm like, I thought they opened on the 21st. Nope. Michael's changed their minds. Then they opened last Friday. Well, I had to work, so... My husband actually went with me on Sunday. I was surprised, but yeah. So we went Sunday. Obviously, we brought our daughter too. Um, and I wasn't too, too impressed. I know this just opened. Maybe they still have to do more work, but eh, it was okay. Um, I bought two spools of ribbon. That was it. But we stopped at Joanne and I found this. And Joanne's actually had a sale for Tim Holtz, um, buy two, get one free. So I wanted two things anyway, so I got another thing for free, but I love this. So I might use some of the floral wallpapers, although these are really pretty too. And these are not the same. Am I even in camera? I am. Yeah, they're not the same, but can I use one of those? Um, what else? I also have the lovely wallpaper that Donna sent me, and then some little pieces. Oh yeah, that's pretty too. So whatever paper you have is fine. It doesn't have to be wallpaper. I just want to do some wallpaper craft since I have so much wallpaper. And I feel better when I know that I'm using some of my stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's get my roll out of the way. And let's open this. I think, yeah, I'm going to make a smaller one. This is just, I mean... I didn't measure this, it just, I randomly took, like, I had a random piece of cardstock as a base, so let's look at these, but since these already have a specific size, I'm just gonna, like, use this, and I can tell you what size it is in a moment. Alrighty, ooh, these are really nice, and they're fairly thick, oh, fairly thick. Well, yeah, so it's good if the if the base is not too, too thick. Get this one. Oh, wow. Oh, these are beautiful. And I figured if it's just a, a small pattern that's not too wild, um, you can embellish it. But this one, I think if I embellish it, it would, like, not it stand out. Because this already has a pretty, pretty loud pattern. Okie dokie. Like this one, very subtle. I would totally embellish it. Ooh, I think I'm gonna use this one. Ooh, it's cute too. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Oh yeah, uh, I have that a little bit on my um, childhood memories journal, and I I was gonna list them this weekend, but they're not done yet, so. And I didn't plan on all those things that were going on this week. So I will still finish them with you guys. And um, But today I just wanted to do something quick and easy so we can get back into the craft crafting. Okay, so I am just going to probably just glue it on here and cut it out. Let's do that. 
And now I have my big rolly card right here next to me. <clears throat> I switched it with a different rolly card. And I also have a little compartment for all of my glues, which is great. So I don't lose them on my, on my desk. Alrighty, I hope you all are having a great week. It's finally warming up here in Maine. Um, my husband and I were just outside for an hour, which was really nice. Still a bunch of snow, but it was like 51 degrees today, which is warmer than what we had at the beginning of the week. Beginning of the week, it was like 5 degrees and very strong wind. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> But I am so excited because I think next week, one day is supposed to be 60. Yes, finally. Okay, so now let's get this cut. And this is just... Um, Manila folders from Dollar Tree. They're pretty thin, so they're not as... The quality is not as great as in other stores, but I think for crafting it's awesome because you get like 10, 10 in a pack for a dollar. So why not use them for crafting? All right, so... And then... Oop, yeah, that was good. Save this for other crafties. And then we're going to put paper on the inside. And with this pattern, it doesn't really matter which way, uh, which way is like top and bottom. Uh, with this one, I wanted to make sure that I have this big flower on the front. Ow. Huh. Um, and then I like the fact that there's like some turquoise, like we have like blue, blue colors. I just get a, I think, hmm, I wanted some text. I'm gonna go with this because then there's a blue line. And I don't, I don't want to use the photo anyway. So that works out just perfectly. Handling the interfacing. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna do this. And I have to mark, it's about an inch, because I don't want to like glue it over here. I want to make sure I have the text. So I'm just gonna mark it so I know where the text starts. Alrighty. And I'm almost out of this glue again, ugh. I'm so happy I finally have my my table in here and can start organizing my stuff. And now I can also cut my fabrics here because I used to cut them on the kitchen um, island or counter upstairs. But now I can uh, cut it right here. And I, yesterday I wrapped a few presents and I was able to do that on the, on the table as well. So yay for big tables. Okay, and that's gonna be my my sewing table slash just I don't know when I need like big big space. Okay, let's see how crooked I did that. Not too bad. Okay, very nice scissors, and um. You don't have to sew it if you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue it. But I like, I just like the sewing. So I will, ugh. once this is um, folded, I will take it to my sewing machine. Um, it finally has its new home behind me. And then I will come back and show you. And then we can also put the eyelet on there. Oh, and I finally got a big trash can because I always had like uh, small like grocery bags hanging on my desk and they get full so fast. So now I bought a little like eight gallon trash can and um, now I can 
move it around where I need it and collect more trash than just one little bag. What is very interesting, I think in 2020, uh, in Maine, they wanted to get rid of um, plastic bags. So I had gotten a lot of um, those reusable like fabric grocery bags and I've been using those. But then the whole pandemic started and then they said you cannot bring your own bags in. So gosh, we have so many plastic bags. I mean, we use them for when I clean the litter box, but yeah, I wonder what happened to that, that plan on getting rid of those. Okay, so this thing is eight inches by five inches. And um, let's see. Here you want to make sure you have enough, like it's not going all the way up. You can make it lower, but I wanted it, I like it like this. And then I want this to be further, like pretty far down, but not all the way down. It's just like a little purse or something. Okay, so now I gotta figure out what I want to do here. Um, maybe, so that's three inches. Uh, let's do... <sighs> okay, two for the flap. Two and a half. If I do two and a half, it would go from here to one, two and a half. Huh? Oh my gosh, my <laughs> my math. Okay, so one, two, th no, that's an inch. Oh my gosh, one inch, two inches, three inches. If I did three inches, then it would fold all the way to here which is too big. So if I did two and a half inches, sorry for the confusion. So we have one inch, two inch, two and a half inches. Then we go one, two, and we go to here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go fold it two and a half from both sides, I think. Two and a half. So now I'm gonna fold this up. And then two and a half from the top. I hope I'm not screwing this up. That's not two. Yeah, it's two and a half. One, two. Why am I having such a hard time with this? One, two, and a half. So we have three in the middle. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so if you go with eight inches, like an eight, eight inch long um, piece, and if you do two and a half inches from both sides, you have like this much. And then the flap. I think that's okay. And then I also rounded the, the flat corners. Let's do that. Probably should have done this in like fade. Well, it's not too, ugh, not too thick. And then I'm also gonna distress it. Oh yeah, I got the recommendation to buy ink refresher for my um for my pad and I actually I didn't know they had um distress re distress refresher so I did this and I just did it like half an hour ago or so or longer let's see if that did anything and it says when you spray on it you have to let it say like oh gosh okay <sighs> I should have done it this way because now the paper's upside down. Yeah, you want to make sure that your writing is not upside down. Why did I do this? Arr! Okay, it's gonna be upside down. That's fine. So yeah, I should have hope uh, corner punched these corners and not these, and then uh, made the po pocket like this. So maybe, maybe I'll just sew it like this. Yeah, I might just, I don't know. It can be upside down. Uh, it's, that's okay. So, learn something, pay attention to what you're doing, and stop talking so much. <laughs> yeah, looks like it's been it's a little better now. Okay, I can probably get rid of my 
scoreboard. Ugh. Oh, distress ink. Oh, I don't need to do this side because I'm not going to see it. I only have to do this side. Wow, I'm very not focused because I was talking about the distress ink. Are we still filming? We are filming. All right. And then, uh, let's see if the wallpaper lets me destroy. Oh, yeah. I have noticed that uh, different things uh, from Tim Holtz actually work really well together. Like, um, also his his uh, collage paper, you can distress it as well. Whereas um, some other papers or some other um, things you might not be able to distress so well, but I think lots of Tim Holtz things work really well together. Okay, almost done, I promise. Okay, and then I'm also gonna do this here. And then this. Alrighty. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put all my stuff away, because I wanna be more tidy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I have first sewn around the, the flap because I just like the border, stitched border. So I'm going to sew here, zhups, and then I also um, sewed just a straight straight line here because you don't want to sew it on here because then the pocket's like closed. I just sewed a straight stitch from here to here and then I fold it together and then I started sewing and I sewed all around it, and then all the way here, and then I sewed around here. You can see this here, or on the back. So, and then in the end, we're gonna add the eyelet and the closure ribbon. So I will be right back. All right, I am back, and here's my little stitched around pocket. Ta-da! And um, now we're gonna put our eyelet on there. Oh yeah, and I just, when I was sewing, I remembered it was Teresa who gave me the tip about the ink refresher. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I didn't know they existed. I would have either bought a new ink pad or distress ink pad or uh, a reinker, but I'm sure this stuff can uh, stretch out the life of your original ink pad. Okay, so now I'm going to see, since it's five wide, I'm going to do try to get my hole about here so let's see about in the middle oops that's the wrong hole <laughs> yeah about here doesn't have to be exact but about in the middle okay and then we're gonna plop this washer in hey washer in here Okay, ta-da! Okay, and now I need some uh, ribbon or let's see if I have some of my silk, silk ribbons that work with this color. Mm, oh, that's cute. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I'd like a light pink or something. Not bad. Ah. Maybe this one. Nope. Oh, wait, this no, this is the same one as I used for the other one. Maybe this one. I think I like this one. Okay. We have decided, or I have decided. Can you tell I always try to put everything back to where it goes, where it belongs? 
so I don't have end up with a mess at the end of the video. However, we will see how long that will last. <laughs> okay, so here's a little knot in here. Let's see if we can get this open. Because I don't want... Oh, yes, we do. Okay, and then what I did, I would just go from the inside. And it doesn't matter how you can do it either way. I just thought this looks nice. Or let's see what it looks like if we go... Yeah, we have to go on the inside, never mind, because we have to tie it up here. <laughs> we go in here. And then... Plop. And then you tie your little bow up here. And then the big sister goes right here. Oh, I think I'm gonna make some more now because I really like I really like this size because you can stick this in your journals in like a pocket, or you can take it out and take it with you. I mean, I don't know why I would take this with me, but I also don't know what other people use their journals for. So, what do I know, right? Alrighty, okay, that's not a great. But yeah, so you get the idea. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'm glad I'm back. And I hope you guys are still around and didn't leave me. <laughs> uh, it was really, really weird not to film every night. Because usually I film every single day. Or I film a couple of videos in one day. If I know I don't have time the, other, the next day. But yeah, so... I missed you guys. I'm glad to be back. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.